All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, Responsive Web Design, Learn CSS Grid by Building a Magazine, Step 7. So after our header element, we're going to create a div with the class set to author. Within that div, we'll create a P element with the class set to author name and give it the text by Free Code Camp. We'll wrap the Free Code Camp portion in an A element with the href set to this right here and the target set to blank. Below that, we'll add a second P element with a class publish date and the text March 7th. 2019. Okay, so we're putting a lot of stuff in here. Uh, after the header, create a div. So first we'll make a div. So we'll say uh, one more div like this and then close div like that. All right. And so within this div, we'll make a P element with a class set to author. So let's come in here and we'll do a P and close P. And we're going to, what did it say? Set the class to author. So we'll say class equals author like that. Uh, no, not that. Yes. How about this? How about we do this? Let's take this, copy it, and paste it right here. All right. And now let's say this author is now author name. How about that? <laughs> So there we go. Uh, set to author name. There we go. So now we're done with that part. So now let's give it a text by, uh, let's give it the text of by free code camp. Let's just take this, copy it, and inside of here, let's paste it just like that. Uh, we'll wrap this free code camp portion, free code camp portion in an A element. So right here we'll do uh, A like that. And then afterwards we'll put a close A like that. And then we're going to give it the href uh, set to this right here. So let's say href equals freecodecamp.org. Let's take this, copy it, paste it right there. And then we're going to set the target to blank. So right after this, we'll say target equals underscore blank like that. All right. And now below that, we'll add a second P element. All right. So we'll make another P like that. And we're going to make it the class. We're going to make the class of it publish date. And then we'll say March 17th or whatever it said, March 7th. Uh, so we'll say hmm, class equals class equals publish hyphen date. And inside here, we'll put March 7th 2019 just like that uh and so it's good over here let's see what happens cross your fingers all right there we go and submit it all right now we're on to step eight and we'll see you next time